It's 5.30 and here's what's happening. 30 victims and a scam totaling more than $2 million. A South Jersey man is accused of masterminding a dating scheme and living off the sympathy of his victims. Police say the suspect made his victims think they were in virtual romantic relationships. He made his first appearance before a judge today in Camden. I would assume reporter Matt Petrillo has been working on this story. And Matt, the suspect carried out the scheme for years? That's right. It started back in January 2016. It didn't stop until this week when investigators finally nabbed him. Authorities tell us they were able to catch up with them because he, also, he often bragged online about his wealth. Woke up with $100,000. This is one of dozens of online posts showing off Ruben Sarpong's lavish lifestyle. And it's these posts that ultimately led authorities to his doorstep in Millville, Cumberland County. Investigators accused the 35-year-old of conspiracy to commit wire fraud. Police say it all started three and a half years ago when Sarpong allegedly started making fake online dating profiles posing as U.S. soldiers serving abroad. He would then create relationships with his victims victims before asking them to wire him money. Receipts we obtained show one victim sending $5,600. Another wired $28,000. In all, there were 30 victims. They sent a combined $2.1 million. <laughs> this online video shows some of the money was spent on expensive rings and Rolex watches. But at Sarpong's first appearance today at the federal courthouse in Camden, he told the judge he could not afford his own attorney and wanted a public defender. The judge didn't buy it and scoffed at the idea. You better yeah. that camera out my face. That's what you better do. Meantime, Sarpong's real life lover, this woman in the camo shirt who says she's Sarpong's fiance, had nothing to say to defend him following his first appearance. And a bail hearing is set for Friday. Prosecutors are hoping that a judge keeps him locked up, saying that he is a flight risk. He could get up to 20 years in prison if convicted. Reporting live outside the federal courthouse in Camden, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Matt.